I remember Dan with trains, and I remember going to uh, Eastern Pennsylvania. We were camping overnight someplace near the Delaware Water Gap and looking at trains, and and that was pretty cool. And I'm sure when I go on fall train rides, I will think of of Dan, and uh, what a great guy he was. friendships develop over shared interest. Well, most of us weren't really train nuts, uh, excuse me, um, uh, rail fans. The correct term. I found out only in the last few days from my brother David, who had um, a train yard in San Francisco by the docks, that he entertained Dan because my brother was impressed that Dan was the Wall Street Journal writer for transportation. But David thought he was a great guy. And um, well, I did too. He was a real gentleman, but they were surprised, I think, his colleagues, that he wrote such kind of um, strong articles about trains and things. And he must have been a strong person because I think I put in the back of my mind that he had a heart condition, which I was aware of years ago. But to go to go on and to, to perform as he did for so many years with a job that took a lot of commuting to out of the way places, he must have been a very strong person. Writing was, was his life, and uh, I, I really kind of like that about him. There was that wry sense of humor. It wasn't the sort of person who would tell jokes, but he was rather the sort of person who would make wry observations. And uh, that, a lot of that went into his journalism. But I do remember Dan or Danny from the Lance. And I do remember him from various English classes. And he was much more studious than I was at that point in time. So I know he was sometimes frustrated with me and also with the various Lance debates. So he got, you know, he often wrote his essays for school with a, either a punchline in the beginning or sort of like, um, uh, what uh, oh an O Henry little ending? Well, he got me on the yearbook because he started out with "Remember the day that we saw the sunrise," implying all kinds of things that never happened. I never thought of Dan as somebody with a heart condition because he ripped into that Bonvini's pizza. We sat behind Livingston High School and took out a whole pizza, put it on the top of the car, and sat there and just wolfed it down. It's hard to imagine a time before he was part of my life. I think I actually met him in junior high school. He would seem to sense with me when I needed a little extra help, and you know, he would, he would kind of say things that would shore up my uh, spirits. And uh, sometimes when I was living in Connecticut and I needed to get away from it all for a while, I, he would invite me to come up to Vermont and stay with him. So I got to meet all the members of his family, of course, and uh, it was a very nice refuge. He always had this passion for small towns and I'm glad he finally got to live in one. <laughs> 